after death test. The other Sunday, I died. It wasn't suicide or sickness. I was walking along the road, looking at something, and I walked through a red light, and then a truck hit me. I flew through the air, landed on the ground, and then I died instantly. Well, that sucked. Of course, I was in the wrong for not looking where I was going, so not much I could do about that. I did something real bad to that driver. Well, anyway, who cares? Soon after I died, my body started moving about. I was able to leave the scene and move around here and there. I was a ghost. But why couldn't I go to heaven? I must have had something I left behind, unfinished. Yeah, that had to be it. That was why I decided to get revenge. Why did I want to do that? Because my classmates in class 6-2 had all bullied me. I arrived at school and looked around. The class was full of awful people. First, Miss Miyasaka. When I told her I was being bullied, she didn't give me any useful advice. She said that I was probably mistaken and that they were all good people. Next, Nakano Kumiko. She was the one who bullied me the most. She hid my textbooks and put eraser shavings in my lunch. She was so mean. There were so many of them. Like Tanaka Miyuki, who hid my gym uniform with Kumiko. And Honjo Saori, who spoke ill of me in the shadows. And Yoshizawa Midori, who put water in my shoes. And all the boys who pretended to see nothing. I wouldn't let them get away with this any longer. Ah, just remembering it made me angry. They should all go to hell together. I hated this class. I hated them all. Revenge. Yeah, I would get my revenge. That's right. They'd all pay one by one. Yeah, that was it. This was my special right as a ghost. Maybe I should haunt them at night. Or maybe I should possess and curse them for the rest of their lives. No, wait. I couldn't take too much time. Heaven wouldn't wait for me that long. At that moment, Miss Miyasaka was explaining something to the class. We'll be taking a class photo this afternoon. Head down to the courtyard after lunch. Ah... It was almost graduation, so they were taking a class photo. That gave me an idea. The best way to get back at them would be to remain a horrid presence in their memories forever. I would appear in their class photo. As a terrifying ghost photo. What an amazing idea. Having decided that, I wandered around the school until the afternoon, thinking. How could I scare everyone? The first idea I had was that everyone would line up to get their photo taken. I would stand at the very front with both hands up and a peace sign. But appearing as a happy ghost wasn't a very good idea, and it wouldn't really look like a ghost photo. People would just think the photo was somebody's prank. Then, maybe I should cling to Nakano Kumiko from behind. Or maybe I should grab Tanaka Miyuki's ankles and appear that way. Just thinking about the finished photo made me shiver. No, 
Hang on. That wouldn't count as revenge against everyone. I had to truly appear as the most frightening ghost to scare everyone. First and foremost, it was also a matter of ghost pride. After thinking it through, I finally settled on what to do. That afternoon, the students from Class 6-2 gathered in the courtyard. I watched them from the window of the building next door. I had clearly formed the plan in my head. They would take the photo in front of the hall that I was standing in. This window would definitely appear in it. I would secretly appear off to the side, with my long hair covering half my face, with my skin white and my lips alone bright red. Then I would stare at the camera, at a 45 degree angle, of course, meaning I would look just like a ghost from a TV drama. And that ghostly visage would remain in everyone's hearts as a nightmare forever. I had truly come up with a brilliant plan. My makeup was perfect as well. I had secretly borrowed some of Miss Miyasaka's. I practiced my scariest expression in front of the toilet mirror for an hour. I was all ready to go. My classmates started lining up in the courtyard. Then one of them said something. Hey, we all decided this earlier, right? That we would leave Morimoto's spot open. I know. I never thought much about her. But when I heard she died, I cried. Me too. I honestly wanted to make up and say I was sorry. If you die... You can't cry or laugh anymore, huh? You can't watch TV or eat delicious food. You can't do anything. Just thinking about that happening to me makes me sad. I feel so bad for her. So this is how it feels when someone leaves you, huh? If so, then I wish she'd never left us. I should have told her that we were friends. It felt like everyone's face looked a little kinder than usual. I felt like I was about to do something wrong, so I thought about stopping. But once I made my decision, I couldn't back down. I would have my revenge. Okay, here we go. Say cheese! The shutter went off and Class 6-2's photo was taken. I should be right there in it. Once the photo was developed and everyone got it, they'd no doubt be shocked to see me in the window. It would give them nightmares. Yeah, you look at it. For some reason, I felt somewhat empty. But an eye for an eye. A tooth for a tooth. That was what I tried to tell myself. Having finished my final task in this world, my head started to feel vague as I floated around above the classroom. Things were getting darker. Ah, so that was it. I could finally move on to heaven. Was that it? I hoped so. When I opened my eyes, a dark river spread out before me. Several people were piling stones by its side. When they collapsed, 
they would start again, over and over. I looked around, and an oni holding a large club approached. Ah, you are Morimoto-san, yes? You failed the test. Eh? I failed? What test? Yes. When you die, there is a test you must take to determine whether you go to heaven or hell. Only those in possession of a beautiful heart may pass on to heaven. Like those who suffer while they are alive, yet still wish happiness for those who hurt them. That is why you're going to hell. You will boil in the scorching heat forever. No, you've got it all wrong. I prayed for their happiness. I did. Then the Oni handed me a single photo. It was Class 6-2's group photo. I appeared in the window behind them. Looking at them with reproachful eyes from a 45 degree angle. What a perfect ghost photo, I muttered, at which the Oni grinned. Yeah, it sure is some amazing photographic proof. A cold sweat ran down my back.